Hello, my name is Zhang Liu. Today is a great day because a new feature is dropped in Microsoft Flow, which is now called Power Automate. And this thing is called Format Number. And Format Number is a particular problem that has been quite tricky to solve in Microsoft Flow ever since the beginning. Uh, it's really good that this feature is dropped. And in this video, I wanted to cover some of the more advanced tricks of how you can use format number uh, in your Microsoft Flow. First things first, uh, in your go to your YouTube and go to Audrey Golden's channel where she's got a video called uh, Audrey Golden. She's a Microsoft Flow and Power Automate product manager. And uh, she has the, her latest video that she published today on advanced expressions to actions format number. So do watch that. If you have not subscribed to her channel, make sure you subscribe and also like that video. This is very important and this will get you started. My my recording follows on from her, so I will be talking about additional bits from where she left off. So uh, firstly, uh, let's go to a flow. Let's go and make a flow. We just use a menu trigger. And if I come here and see um, format. Okay, and that's because the format number action is released in preview and not yet in production. So this is my production environment. I mean the default environment. I do have a preview environment here. So this is a preview environment. Uh, so in a preview environment, if I pop in here real quick, this is what you'll see. Format number. And here we go. You see this format number. And this is exactly the uh, feature that Audrey is, has demoed. And you can try this out. There are the sample uh, formats and then styles such as Australia, ENAU, and so on. So that's uh, how you can get started. Now, the first advanced trick is you can actually use this in production. And I'll show you how. First, you go to copy. This actually puts a temporary in your clipboard, and uh, if you are not aware of it, let me pull out a blank notepad. See here, that's exactly the expression. And we're gonna have to come back here. But if I come over to production, go to clipboard, and just control V to paste, you will put this here, and then you will put this into my production. In fact, I've copied it with the number that I had in dev. Uh, in preview, so that's now running in production. So this is in prod. You see, it's in production. In fact, just to save it and prove that it does work, I will click it. And in fact, you could do compose. For my number, you can take the output as well. Now this is actually a string variable, so that's a string. Um, for my number, takes a number and turns it into a string. And we can test this. You see it runs successfully in prod. Okay, so even though it is a preview feature and the action is only enabled in preview, you can use it in prod. So that's the first trick. You can copy the action from preview into prop. And if you need the JSON, uh, you just need to grab this, something like this. Uh, this can be copied and shared, so I will put this in a blog post. So save, uh, save this somewhere. Uh, if you really need a copy, you can email me and I will email you a copy. Um, but you should be able to go to a preview environment, create this and copy it out and use it. Okay, so that's tip number one. Now next is, uh, that's that's really just the beginning. So we don't need the preview environment anymore. I'm going to leave here. And um, make sure you like Audrey's channel. I'm going to leave that too. Um, now I wanted to come back to a flow I built previously because there's a few examples I wanted to go through. So uh, this is a flow I built in prod and there is a few expression notes in here. That is just a very long number 
and um, here is where we're let me let me explain a bit more this is a bit of deeper deep dive we look at this and we say why does this action work in prod when the action is not available to select in the designer but yet it works in prod why does why is that and why is that safe and the answer really is partially here but let me explain so this thing explains that oh we have a uh, we have an action that uses the format number operation and the operation definition is actually an expression and it is the kind format number this is important let's copy this uh, and it takes the input of a number and a format n2 in my case uh, locales e and a u okay so these three now what that means is we can come here pop up our expressions and basically say uh, format number so you see there is a format date time but there is no format number but you could just type it anyway and what is our value one two three let's let's type it here one, two three dot four five six and two e n a u okay and let's just paste that in here okay and change that comment to match and if you save it will it will save correctly even though it's not something that appears in IntelliSense and what it really is is that this action has to be supported in the engine for it to work it's actually an expression so the action itself is a wrapper around the expression that exists in the engine which by the way also share with logic apps so for my number is something that should be in logic apps as well um, and here you can see it's for doing the formatting okay natural number to the two digit and two okay so that's exactly that now, uh, in this example, then I go on to do a few more test samples. So the the format string allows us to do various .NET uh, .NET style formats. You have the general format, the G format. Uh, G five means you know display the number, the best five numbers. Usually you run with G for general format. Uh, G5 means it will use the best five numbers. So if you have a really large number, it can make it look funny. Uh, you have N, which is just number. Um, and all three talked about C, which is currency. I'm not really going to talk about that. C works the best if you also specify a locale because you need the currency symbol, which may also appear on the left or the right. So that's important. Um, so C is usually used explicitly for currency. You have N and then you have D. D6 is interesting. D6 basically means I wanted to make sure there's six digits and D only works on integer. So you can use one, two, three, four, one, two, three, dot, four, five, six with a D6 and expect to be prepended with three zeros. It doesn't work. Uh, so D must be used on integers only. Uh, but to be very honest, I think rather than trying to remember all these fancy characters and what they mean, it is actually a lot easier for power user if we just stick to this format. If we want the currency, use the dollar sign in front and use either hashes or zeros. Uh, when you use hash, the number is optional. So if your number is only one digit, you will get a one dollar here. Uh, and you may not even get any digits. Whereas if you use zero, then those not fed, those spots will be uh, prepended with a zero or appended with a zero. So uh, if you only have 1.1 and you use this pattern, it's going to have a much larger number. Let me try and see if I can demonstrate exactly what I just said. So 12.45. Okay. And let's save that and then just run this and you see it runs super quick like so it runs really quick because it's running in the engine um, 
and here you see the different the various different strings when it's got these hashes it did this when there is six hashes the hashes are optional but you use zero then it's prepended with zero and if you have dot two decimal zeros it's appended with a zero at the end as well now the format number will always round up so you don't have an option of uh, using something like a, a round down uh, these numbers will always round up okay so that's number two the format currency in an expression rather than using it in action let's do one more trick one more crazy trick so the third one is we need some sort of um, we need some sort of array and I'll show you a couple of fun tricks there is an action called range range creates an array let's start with zero we're gonna go to I don't know 20 okay so it will start on zero and we we'll actually go all the way to 19 um, it's just range includes the minimum and excludes the maximum so range 22 okay that's that one so that returns an array there and then what you're going to use one of my favorite actions which is called select and select in general is just really good at processing arrays so if you have arrays and you want to run quickly you want this so this is actually uh, let me rename this this is called compose range and i need to spell it right compose range compose range and then let's just call it a number uh, and that's gonna be the current value do i have a current value we don't so we're just gonna use current so item inside select refers to the current item and then we actually got to treat this as let's pick a few of these fancy fancy values and the additional this is one of my favorite hacks oh this is super hard to this is really tiny to read So let's pick the format the format number this one. So we need this one. Let's do the zero zero as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. And then finally let's do uh, what's another good one? We'll do the C and now let's just do those two all right now let's try a different um, need to quickly check what is Japan's currency JA dash JP. Okay, so we're going to go with these three. In fact, let's go without first, then okay, so three diff quite different styles. Let's do that. Let's do one more thing. We want this to be item. So first one is format the number. Format one. We're just going to paste this expression in here. Double check. Number two is AUD. And number three is, uh, I guess it's Japanese yen. I'm hoping that's the right way to write it. Japanese yen. 
awesome so you see again it runs super quick it's already finished and um, in here we have a couple interesting things firstly is when we use the hash this because the numbers are optional when the actual number is zero it became an empty string so that's a very tricky scenario you may want to think about and notice here it did the same with this okay so that's probably a super and that's actually a surprise that's probably a very super unintended behavior you probably never want this pattern you probably want this pattern that's probably a lot safer so you want to say at least one digit and it's okay to be zero because really serious dollar sign by itself is not a valid um, currency yeah that's just not right right Japanese and it did not do the yen correctly which I'm kind of sad am I just not doing all right maybe that's because it's just a static I guess um, Let's try the other method, C6. Just try C. Oh, that's very really disappointing. Let's go back. I want this kind of ending finale to be a bit more perfect. So let's do it again. That's going to be just C. Japan. Um, that one is going to have to be tweaked. and that one as well okay so grand finale the second go okay so that's much better so that's the output of the range that I talked about you will go 0 to 19 and then uh, select basically says for each of these numbers we want to try different formatting on them so that is the yen character for sure uh, there's one dollar two dollar five six ten all the way up three tips first is you can copy the format number action from preview to pro the second tip is uh, you can use the format expression the format number already in production so uh, if you're familiar with expressions you could just dive right in with this style and uh, I recommend the hash and the zero uh, not so much these other ones and also remember it always runs up the third one which is a more advanced form is um, the format number expression allows this expression to be used inside a select because you can't really put this action inside here you have to do a f apply to each and apply to each is a lot slower so using a select you can use the expression within it and uh, this is helpful if you're say creating a HTML table let's just quickly throw that in here um, maybe you're creating a HTML table to be sent I just put the output of that array in there uh, and, and sending that in an email to in a report so um, like if you're doing a proof of form and there are certain values of this project and now we could uh, format it nicely with the currency see here you get this nice HTML table showing you the exact value of each of the numbers so um, and select and create a HTML table, combine these two together, you can get a very nice output very quickly. Um, and that's one area where I think uh, using the format number expression is a lot better than using the action. So you should definitely get familiar with both of them. And uh, that's my uh, tip and trick for about format number. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave me a like and follow me. Or recommend this video to someone that's learning for my number and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye bye